So in this video, I wanna talk through two really cool holiday gift ideas for 2024. I don't do a ton of gift videos on the channel, but these things seem like they're worth pointing out and they're ones that I picked up recently, so they seem relevant for this year. Okay, so first up we have the Komodo Series Limited Edition Collector Set. And this is a set of four Pentel Sharp mechanical pencils these are the standard P205, 207, 209 sort of mechanical pencils that uh, a lot of us use and, and really like, but they come in these custom colors and that we have that Japanese word for the 0.3, Ibicha, or however you would say it, should have looked that up, but that's the P203 and that just means chocolate in Japanese. So you have a sort of, the, the name here corresponds to the color. You're moving away from those ISO standard colors like a 0.9 is always this color or 0.7 is always this color, but the trade-off is you're getting these limited edition colors, which, which look great. Has a really interesting box, very gifty and fun. It says Kimono series, limited edition, all that. You have some cool Japanese inspired graphics and some explanation on the back. Opening the, opening up, we have a sort of a gift box. And then inside we have the four mechanical pencils. Here they are, probably not in the right order, but you get a feel for what you're looking at. And here we have a standard P207, no different, except it has that custom color there. And this is a matte finish. You don't have to worry about moving over to a gloss or anything that's not gonna look great. If you're interested in it, what do they say for 207? Uh, this whispers of serene elegance, blending the tranquility of a pale sky blue with the subtle sophistication of gray reminiscent of a peaceful dawn sky, softly veiled in a thin misty haze. Quite nice. Here you have the 209, it's your 0.9 millimeter. This is sort of like a taupe, like a light brown, kind of grayish. Here you have the 203, this is what they call chocolate. It's a little bit more reddish than I would say for chocolate, but again, looks pretty cool. Then my favorite of the colors is this sort of like a midnight, maybe, maybe a greenish navy, something like that in the 205. So that is my favorite color and what I would use the most. I typically reach for a 0.5 millimeter mechanical pencils. I've talked a fair bit about these. The sharps, the Pentel sharps are just really excellent mechanical pencils. They come apart very easily. They're easy to fix, they're very simple, they're affordable. So this isn't like a great deal, you know, because these pencils are like six, five, six dollar pencils anyway. You get four of them and it costs, yeah, about 20 bucks. But it's nice to see them come as a set, they come in the gift box and you're getting colors that you won't be able to buy whenever this set runs out. So that is the Pentel Sharp in the Kimono Series Limited Edition. Very cool, very gifty. Next up, and this is one that's been around forever, but I, I constantly use the ones I have and I'm always reminded by what, what a cool thing it is. This is the Trusco Toolbox and this is the T19 MBK. So this is a smaller size. You might've seen Trusco's full-size toolboxes and remarked like, oh wow, those are, those are very awesome, but not really thought to do any more research into what they make. This is a smaller model. The box is really not much here to see on the box. This is a smaller model and it comes in black. Usually you see this in like a gloss, like a gloss blue is kind of their most famous, but they have it in this sort of matte black. Looks quite nice. It's not fully matte, but it's not definitely not gloss. Maybe it's like a, an eggshell or something like that. And it has the Trusco, the standard design, has the little divots here so that it's fully stackable, made in Japan. And then I think what's really compelling about this is the size. If you look at these little marks on the desk, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, about seven and a half inches by one, two, three, I call it three and a half inches, maybe four if you account for all this stuff. It opens like this, comes with some little piece of foam padding, which you could use or not use. I typically would throw it out, but I'll leave it in for now. And uh, this is just a really nice size for desk items. So say we have, uh, you know, a pen, got a little bit of extra room here, which is nice because say you want to do a pencil, it's too long, right? So you can do your pencils on the diagonal or, you know, realistically, you're not bringing unsharpened pencils anywhere. 
So more realistically, you're doing like a full size sharpen pencil will just fit in this. That's kind of why I, I like this size because basically if I'm thinking about things I'm putting in some sort of case for, you know, stationary items, it's the longest I'm going to go with is a sharpened pencil. The shortest is, well, I guess the shortest doesn't really matter in this scenario, but you would have more than enough room for, you know, uh, a pen or what do I have, you know, ink cartridge, whatever, something like that is going in there. And this is a good size. You can get a fair bit of stuff in here. Let's see if some pencils and pens I have lying around, you, know, you can get a good amount of things in here. And uh, yeah, you can't put a ruler in here, but you could put the general stuff that you're gonna keep at your desk. It closes, has a nice closing feel to it. And something like this, I would typically put in a drawer, uh, but you could definitely leave it on your desk easily enough. Uh, I wouldn't bring this with me because it's, it's all metal and it's a little heavy. Some of these edges would definitely scratch up your laptop. So uh, could you throw it in a bag? Sure. I, I don't think it's a good fit for that. I would say it's something you wanna keep on your desk or in a drawer, but you get a nice storage, sells for about $15, $16, comes from a, a very cool Japanese brand. And these things last forever. I have a couple of these that I've had for, you know, 10 plus years and they look like I just, just bought them. Maybe, maybe get some, a uh, little chip back here or something like that, but you would never notice that. And I like these just for kind of keeping just like small stuff where it should be and doing it in a cool, somewhat portable fashion. So that's the Trusco toolbox. And again, I'll link to the size below, but you want to get the T19 MBK. Uh, because there's a lot of different sizes of these. And if you get one that's too big, it just won't be a good fit for your pens and pencils. So that pretty much covers it. Thanks for watching.